Four weeks earlier, during the first week of April, and on the farm of Hubert Kilpatrick, the Balachi Vintage Clubmen prepare for the growing of a field of oats, as their ancestors would have done during the early to middle part of the present century. Machra Feltmen Shane McCusker and Liam Averill have brought along their two donkeys for the ploughing of their plot of ground. There are few objects more symbolic of agriculture than the plough, and over the centuries they have been made in all shapes and sizes. The plough being used here is a single furrow one, much smaller than the type which would have been pulled by horses. The width of this furrow is only nine inches, and the pair of donkeys would do well to plough half an acre in a day. For many years the donkey has been looked upon as a rather stupid and obstinate creature. However, if properly encouraged and handled, he would have been quite capable of a good day's work. Shane and Liam give us a, some interesting facts about these mystical creatures. What age are these pair of donkeys, Shane? Uh, there's one of them four year old and the other one's five year old. So that's fairly young. Ah, uh, it has high, but uh, you're better starting them off young to work when you're working with donkeys like. How long would they work for? Oh, uh, they would work all day. They would work all day. What age would they left to, Shane? They'd left up to their 40 years of age, well yeah. looked after, they would. Uh, well looked after. Uh -huh. Love nearly as long as a man. They'd love as long as a man. <laughs> the I'd rather say them pair of boys are rightly looked after. Oh, they're rightly looked after, well wanted. Uh huh. They're, you use them for a lot of exhibitions. Oh, right? I, we, we go down everywhere, Will. We go every place. So they're out every week? Uh, they're nearly out every week. Suppose uh -huh. they enjoy that? They enjoy that, aye. Right. No bother yeah. getting them to work? No bother. No bother. All usage. They're across, they're across with the donkey there. Just on his back there. And, and there's a cure for asthma with a hair out of the cross of the donkey. I have got it for several people. And they all said that it has worked. It worked? Alright. Uh, put it in an envelope and put it on the pillow and sleep on tonight. And they've had very little trouble since. That's all you had to do.